Splitting Hairs Free Salon Education Podcast starts now. Featuring Matt Beck, Christina Cavalcanti, Brian Hare, and Carly Wareheim. T- today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 10 of Splitting Hairs, the Free Salon Education.com podcast, powered by our friends at MinervaBeauty.com. I was almost going to... Uh, Actually, I got to let you guys know that Minerva Beauty is, has a $5,000 salon giveaway going on. Um, it will launch today. So not today, actually, if you're on here live, but today, the day Wednesday that this show comes out. Um, so if you want to enter to win that, click the link in our description below. And then also uh, go follow them on Instagram. That is the rules. And you could win a $5,000 makeover from MinervaBeauty.com. Uh, they... All of our furniture, even the, the seats we're sitting on now, we were just discussing that um, come from Minerva Beauty. Uh, beautiful warehouse in Monroe, Georgia. If you want to go check them out, if you're anywhere near that area, they also have a, a salon program where if you order or if you're going to place an order for your salon, sometimes you can go out there and just make it a trip, a uh, business trip. And um, But go check it out. MinervaBeauty.com. Go sign up. You could win $5,000 worth of furniture, which is a lot of furniture. Buy the shampoo from Minerva. bowls. Get the shampoo bowls. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's sweet. I have to get our um, list together for Minerva. I know. Springtime refresh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh. It's about to go mm. down. I don't know if you guys, if anybody knows besides. We don't even know. Yep, I know. That's, what I was, <laughs> that's why I was saying it. But it's going to, uh, you know, big things are happening. Yeah, so. I feel like, you know, color carts, different like things start to wear, you know, and stain and just by... And we've had them for years, though. Yeah. So well, I we used the hell out of those, but I just realized yesterday uh, one of the color carts, I grabbed it, and it's starting to do that thing with the wheels like a shopping cart. Wait. Or one of them's just like, nah. I think one of them's busted. Yeah, I found I that one yesterday. I noticed that maybe <laughs> yesterday or the day before. Well, this yeah. is a great ad. Well, I <laughs> no, mean, I'm just kidding. Think no. about how them. much I've we, used that yeah, yeah. for no, six we've years had now, them like for almost a seven. Little o- yeah, over six yeah. years. And only one, I bet you it probably somebody... I'm and sure it, somebody did something to it's, it. It's probably yeah. like I, I probably don't. gave it a nudge with my foot to. Let's also get say over that the it's vacuum not like we clean them hit out or as much as we probably yeah, should. Yeah, it's not because yeah. of the. They've been <laughs> through it. They've been through it. Yeah. Um, Let's do positive on Minerva, not negative on. I think us. I'm just making excuses <laughs> too. No, I'm making excuses because I like to change things up after a few yeah. years. Yeah. You that's know? actually like, what I. Yeah, that's I, why. That's actually a great conversation. That's not in our notes, but I do think that I need an excuse to change like the camel brown to black. But yeah, I mean, you know, like you get a little bit sick of colors or yeah, and it's good for the clients. Change. I think too mm-hmm. to see that you're staying with it. You know, you yeah. got to spend money to make money. Yep, and that's if you the truth. Have, this is I got half industry. of that down. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you have to k- keep up with it looking fresh. Yeah, I agree. So, so I'm excited. I, you know, mm-hmm. it's not going to be crazy changes, but we'll be posting pictures and uh, showing you guys what's going on. I mean, yeah, but if you cool just change, change like a couple of pieces and then paint and stuff, I think it gives your clients like a whole refresh vibe and yeah. you're putting, yeah. you know, and like the number time one to the place that they come to. Like lose, I, I would say in my experience, the number one way to lose clients is boredom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's just another way to keep things fresh and Mm -hmm. cool. It feels like a new salon coming into, even if they're just getting their same root touch up every month. It's like, oh, this is, I love, look at my cute new salon. And we do all spend a lot of time here. So to keep it. Yeah. Feeling good for us too. Mm -hmm. And you want to take care of something, you know, Mm -hmm. more when you start, you know, taking care of something. Yeah, that's always true. Like and when something feels new. Yeah, like my always, car. Like when I just got my car yeah. and I literally uh, cleaned it every day for like two weeks and then now he it's dirty. doesn't but. vacuum at all at home. And then all of a sudden I open <laughs> First his... First off, I vacuum. So, okay, sometimes you do. <laughs> you do. Yeah, I yeah. shouldn't say that. You do vacuum. But I would say I probably vacuum more often. Yes, I would. Um, and I would see that it needed to be vacuumed more often, you know? Yes, I opened the console to his car. There's a little vacuum, a va- a, an, a um, it's like wipes, hey, like and it's everything's so clean. And then when you get in it, or Hayden and I do, and his lacrosse stuff, and 
it's like he gets back in it and it's I can tell he's like irritated. And I was like, this is how I feel. I feel like that's a, <laughs> um, like a statistic, though, that like women tend to have more oh, messy cars, messy cars and men have tend to have like messy like spaces in ho- in their homes. So well, yes, mm-hmm. I can that's a that. real stat. I'm pretty sure. Like, I, I, I feel mean, like if it's not, it is. <laughs> yeah, like, I yeah. can totally. Is yeah, your car clean? That. Yes. But, like you clean well, it often? No, I don't clean my car. Oh, I just don't have a messy car anymore because I live in the city and I want to make sure that there is nothing in there that people could want mm. as they go mm. by. Yep. Yeah, that's a good so point. So this is the first car I've ever had that is not completely <laughs> full of crap. Like up the back seat, just like like it's yep. it's actually quite mm. nice. I mean, it's gross in there but it's not yeah okay. <laughs> all right um also i was talking to one of my clients yesterday and he was just got from the dentist he just came from the dentist and he was like i said do you like your dentist and he's like why and i'm like well because i might be shopping for one because i had a weird thing with my dentist but the um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't get I, i'm not gonna say that but let's um, get the fanfic going on that yeah one. so uh but so I was seeing if he liked his dentist and he goes, well, what, what is it about yours? I said, well, it's honestly, it, I don't Hold think on. I would even, what? We're, sorry, we're on a little bit of a delay of getting the chat, but they're saying, um, it's going in and out and it's cracking. Oh, um, can't understand anything you've said. <laughs> that sucks for them. <laughs> um, <laughs> where are you from? Sorry, you guys. Sorry about normal. that. Um, we <laughs> said mean... so many funny things and you missed it all. <laughs> We were hilarious. I know. So funny. Well, um, it'll come out. Will when it you... be in the final? Yeah, it's. It, we recorded it. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, we recorded. It. Sorry, live so folk. we're good. You'll see it on Wednesday. It was you'll, hilarious. You'll have to watch. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, so, guys. <laughs> so back to the show, real quick, um, because now we're behind more. So that's great. Um, we, uh, I was saying, and this goes back to freshening up the salon. I still go to my dentist, and he still has clouds in the tile ceiling. Like, mm. and when you lay back and then I was like, they're like I, dirty cloud, dark clouds now. <laughs> yeah. Like it's getting, it's like <laughs> it's eerie. And business will be shutting down. It's going to be a tornado. It's those kind of clouds. Yeah. It used to be bright and sunny. Yeah. In here. <laughs> and now, and I remember laying there looking at those clouds and he was giving me a root canal once and he put M&M on. <laughs> no How kidding. How did he know? How did he know I don't that know, you were a rapper I, in you your could day? You just tell <laughs> he's got that that air about that him thing. Matt used to play music when he was younger and um he also rapped yeah for a short time no I really I did it was cool I had a rap album yeah it's embarrassing. I, it's, I mean when your kids ring do immediately <laughs> yeah well it's on that old computer that I can't get to turn on over there um, so they might well, be gone day. forever I'm about one to day. figure that out <laughs> one, one day that rap's gonna be opening up the show <laughs> yeah yeah why sure. we got someone else we doing this rap. Matt yeah. I know it's funny because, like, I wrote it when I was 19, and <laughs> he was so angry at all, the world. I was so angry, <laughs> and it's all about like prep school kids and like rich kids and Who like. Who did you even and, know in prep school? There's no prep schools. No, there. not not like there's, prep. I'm from saying where prep he's school. from, there's not much of anything. No, but it's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's wide open spaces, like the Dixie Chicks would say, you know, <laughs> um, and it's it's. It's just the idea of prep school kids is what he was yeah, fighting against. Yeah, he was so yeah, angry. It wasn't actually them. I didn't know any of think, them, but I was I very his, angry. I know they're out there and I hate yeah. or something. <laughs> Man. Man, that. You're talented, though. Like, you've been, you know. Yeah. Okay. All Let's right. get into so, the show. Oh, first, your mom says hi. Hey, mom. He can rap. <laughs> My mom, she probably still has the album. I think I, I think we tone. have it somewhere. We might. I don't know. All right. So what was the name of the album? <laughs> well, actually, I don't know if I ever put it on an album. I just had like ten songs. And so, SoundCloud. What was the name of your favorite song? On I'll find them. <laughs> oh, this is good. I'll find them. <laughs> I'll try to find them. I'll I'll share them with you sometime. Only you guys, though. Um, yeah, they're pretty embarrassing. Uh, that's because behind, I was so that's behind angry. the paywall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That'll be on Patreon. <laughs> Yeah, um, like my home videos are from when I was like nine. So I'm like, oh, you want to watch them? <laughs> you want to watch me? <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, thoughts. Uh, first first thing up, uh, thoughts on sale reps, oh, sales yeah. reps um, coming into the salon. Mm-hmm. And this is something they've been coming in more often. I don't know if it's a spring thing, um, but 
They do come in often and want to get thoughts from salon owners out there, also stylists out there. Yeah, um, everyone that works in the salon is affected, I feel like, when the sales reps yeah. walk in. And it's always between like 11 and 1. Like the busiest I feel like, time. And it's pretty busy. Yeah. Like, well, they want to get you to answer when you don't have a whole lot of time to think about it. Is, that could oh, be it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good call. But yeah. Like, don't you want this? Look how great this is. Just sign here. All right, it's on the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, my Our thing is, because this is obviously for us, we hate it. Like when I, I hate it. I don't, I don't want to speak. To I you. don't really like it either. I don't I like hate it. I'm never. I'd rather a scheduled. Scheduled visit or reach out, but we're never going to schedule that either. So just call. Yeah. Just call. Just try. Yeah. Just do a f- and leave a message. I mean, I don't mind the samples. Yeah. And you know, it's, I mean, again, I don't totally mind it because it doesn't really affect me that much like if i talk to them when they come i have like there's been once or twice that i have that i had a few minutes and you know it's one of those all right just give me the pitch and like let's honestly talk about this like not everybody has the greatest thing ever yeah but they're all gonna say no i know that's what i'm saying the pitch is always this is the greatest thing ever to happen here i'm like i would rather okay can I, I talk to a stylist who uses this? So they can give me the real lowdown exactly. on this. That's yeah. where I would rather research and figure that out. Yeah. And we did kind of talk about this a couple a couple episodes ago, maybe, or whatever, about education. Mm-hmm. But Yeah, um, but that's different. It's that's different, like, but it's the same in, I want to know the people that I look up to and I like their work and I know what color, like I like their hair color that they're doing and they're posting about or whatever. I want to find out what they're using and mm-hmm. then call somebody to come in um, because- but what's so hard with that now yeah. is so many of those people are just being like for paid content. I know. Like yeah. I get most of my, oh, I'd like to try that from the people that haven't made it yet on mm-hmm. Instagram mm-hmm. that are actually doing work that I like actually behind the chair. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. now there's just so many people that are going to do the same thing as a sales rep. And oh, it's the so greatest maybe, thing ever because they're getting a check. Uh, yeah, that's true too. Maybe the conversation is really like what... Are, let's just take hair color, for example, are they all kind of very just so similar? Are there so many that are so different? And do a lot of people say like, for instance, gray coverage, do you use a different line, but you mostly have another line for all your color? In my experience. You know, like that kind of thing, if that's what people are doing out there. Like I worked in a couple of salons that had two to three like parts of a color line for, for that purpose. For different reasons. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. I worked in one, you know, we had, you know, your whole Paul Mitchell line because it's, you know, pretty good and just generally will cover everything, but it doesn't get everything. So mm. they had like the higher levels from a color line that had like a way higher ammonia content because mm. sometimes you need it. Yeah. Like it, you wish you didn't, but sometimes you do to get what you want. So mm. like piecemealing does work mm-hmm. so long as you get the right stuff. Yeah. Yeah, It's like, if you care about hair, you're trying to figure that out and not what the look of the salon looks like. Yeah. You know, cause you could have a rep come in and it could be like this new clean look that kind of fits the vibe of now or trending. And you could want that vibe for your salon, you know, or let's say, do you want like the Instagrammable look how great the salon is? Or do you want everybody coming out of the salon happy because Mm -hmm. they can get their, whatever they want Mm -hmm. done? Yeah. I actually wish, I I think if I was like a sales consultant and I wanted to be successful in that, I think I would come in, I would make my rounds first to a salon and maybe walk in, but, but not bother them and just say, what are your biggest challenges that you have? And then leave. You know what I mean? And then come and back. Come just back. mess with their heads and or peace call out. Them no, but come or call back. and yeah. leave that message of, hey, I just wanted you to know that we have this, this, and this that touch on some of your, your challenges. Your, your yeah. challenges, mm-hmm. yeah. And then come with solutions to yeah. something, you know? Mm-hmm. I think one of the greatest sales pitches I ever heard, and I, I, I feel bad because it was so long ago, I don't remember who the line was, but they were, hey, like, we'll bring this color in, but not only will we bring this color in, will send an educator to go through all of your formulas and help you Mm -hmm. like flip that over so that you're not just wondering what to do. Usually do that stuff. Yeah. 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 They Mm -hmm. do seem I just only had one that mentioned it, I guess. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I think you're right, Matt. Like the style of sale is probably what is killing it. What's annoying about because, it? Because yeah. and, and this is nothing against sales reps. They're all just trying to do their job, yeah, and yeah, they're for super sure. nice when they come in here. But a lot is being talked about other than what they have to offer. Like, hey, how are you? This place is beautiful, and oh, this is that, yeah, and this show is, me around, and and like, show me around. But like, there's kind of a time crunch when someone walks in. Not to be rude, but people are busy, yeah. and yeah. a lot right. of the time either we're busy or you all are answering and like you said like kind of just get to what yeah you know what you're here like for. when because not to blow up a spot but there was like an Aveda guy the other day and I know what I would have said if I was him because I did work in a salon that had Aveda color and it was I mean it's been a long time it may have evolved since then so don't come for me please but is this a, the same Aveda guy yeah I mean I guess oh but what I thought was cool oh. was oh, okay. like about their color back in the day, it was their whole color line is just like a one through 10 N and that's it. And then just lots of little tubes of pigment. So every single color that you make, you are completely customizing it to how you want. It takes up a lot less space as a color bar. And it was pretty cool. Like it was very intimidating because I was in beauty school and I worked with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now as a colorist, I think about that and I'm like, wow, that would actually be pretty cool like if you need like a level six that has like just a touch more blue or whatever like you can put exactly how much you want and get good results nice that's what i would have led with were i as i don't know what he led with because i didn't get to talk to him but i'm like yeah that's a quick like 20 second mm -hmm. look at all this color that you guys have we could just shrink it down give you great results blah 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 blah, blah. Mm -hmm. yeah right sorry yeah. you're busy bye so I'd love to hear people's thoughts on this. Um, that's kind of our, our initial thoughts with it. But I, I just feel like, um, you know, in the salon, you are busy and you, and I want to focus on learning new things and what's out there and stuff. Like I want to know that, but there's a time and place. And I just feel like, but it's less old school to getting that way. Get, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we need to invent what we're talking about. Yeah. A way for real people. Or hopefully there's brands listening out there and they're thinking, and, and maybe they're thinking about this because I can't imagine the success rate of constantly walking into salons unless that salon's real bored. But mm -hmm. I feel like. But then if they're real bored, you're not going to sell a lot to them right. because so they're like not this, busy. Yeah. Success of that has got to be, got to be tough. So it's a, it's, it's not a hassle, but it is a hassle too. When you think about what you've been selling your guests and now all of a sudden you're kind of flip flopping. Yeah. So that is like kind of overwhelming to think about, you know, like because then you have to be an, an equally as good as a salesperson to your guests because now you're like, all right, well, we're switching over. But usually the reasons are good. Yeah. But yeah. are they married to their like some people still love certain col like the oh. color yeah. like. Yeah. They and they don't want you to budge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they know what you're using, and as soon as you change it, they're like, "Hmm." That's when you just don't tell them. <laughs> yeah, they're right. just they're just scared to change. <laughs> Which is where I like what Brian's saying about the, um, uh, you know, just maybe adding in a couple things if you needed it, like if you're just not getting the results. Mm -hmm. And for me, finding those people online that maybe aren't the big influencers but are just really great at doing hair. Um, yeah, that like have like a full page of like they specialize in blending gray or their yeah. balayages, like their well, their creams or yeah. their like, tones. Or one place that I see it, it, it gets a little overwhelming. But like sort of to what I'm talking about is when because they still follow a few like hairdresser groups on Facebook, and someone will put up, okay, this is what I this is the problem. What should I do? Mm -hmm. Like I need a new color line solution or whatever. And there'll be all these people. Well, I use this and it helps with this. Mm -hmm. Or I use this and it makes this happen. I'm like, that I think is a little bit more effective because to me anyway, because those people are not getting paid by the company. Mm -hmm. They're saying, this is how I successfully make my money using these tools. Mm -hmm. And okay. this is why I trust them. That's probably the reps should go into those forums or blogs and then just start DMing their information. I heard you had a problem with this. This is what we have. Yeah, that's a great and idea. And then a too. link, a link to like whatever distributor to even purchase it. Yeah. We can't put this out. Everyone's gonna steal our ideas. <laughs> well, Hopefully it's they do. sharing that's the point. sharing is a good yeah. That's, that's, the that's point. what it's all about. Fine. <laughs> how are you feel how are you feeling about it, Carly? Um, I mean, I just my experience, I worked at a place where they would bring somebody in and like while you were with your client they would like kind of 
pressure you into using that new product and i hated that because like like, i I, here i am having to trust this random person that like you know they're saying oh this product will be great for your client and like also like if i'm running pressuring you to do it the salesperson and like, like kind of you know my bosses the bosses and, like yeah. they were saying like I, w- I want you to try this <laughs> yeah, out like oh try it they're gonna come around while you're with your client and tell them you know about what your client what you're doing with your client and then they're gonna give you like a product that see and you can use <laughs> I used to, so Sam Burns I remember back in the day I don't know how he is now but he would like he would put the sales rep to work you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. like they would come in he'd be like you know, like taking them over to the retail, like he got retail shelves. Like but I remember Sam's from that. So good at that. He's a salesman too. He, yeah. He's so yeah. good, but because he believes it and then he just, um, I think he loved, like they took our order. They did it all for him. Yeah. Like he didn't, you know, he's got which a is way a whole of making thing. everyone feel good. Yeah. And when you're doing something for somebody that makes you feel good, like it feels good. It yeah. feels good. You know, yeah. Sam just, and has some people that like the him. attention of a sales rep too, like coming in and, mm-hmm. and, how are you like they become friends with them kind of so yeah, like they allow they let yeah. them do their job that's kind of why yeah. i'm interested to see like is it more like where are you on that on that is it are you kind of with me uh, like us yeah there's well, so many different other side of, so just to full, like full circle flesh that out yes it's annoying when they do that but i gotta say i have had a sales rep in the past and having that relationship is great yeah like when they would come in and i'm busy it would just be like, you know where you're going. Go check out the color bar, get us what we need, and it's done. Yes. And it's, you know. But I'd like to see the the margins in that salon business and how well you yeah, letting that think... sales rep take care of it because yeah. they get money based on how well, much they sell. Well, I mean, you're sell. not just saying it yeah. after you've built trust, not like yeah. the first right. time. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. fill yeah. us up with yeah. stuff we'll never just use. keep us full. <laughs> yeah, All right. You got like... 25 three hours or something yeah but no like i remember <laughs> our one she would come in i guess once a month and you know we had like a this is what we'd agreed upon this is what it sh- each color should have this much of this and so they would just go over the checklist and go down and mm-hmm. a week later we'd have it yeah and we'd see him again yeah. in a month and as long as you revise because through the seasons our color changes so drastically yeah, yeah. yeah. like the level you know the, yeah so but, but yeah. that's part of the relationship that you build Right. Right. Then they kind of know what your Mm -hmm. stuff is. Yeah. So uh, you just put it in my head. Like I had a client text me this morning too about like, can I get his kids in? I just feel like, I don't know how this all happened. I just want people (laughs) to just call the salon. Like you, you reach out to them one time through text and you're screwed. I want to send a video that maybe we could talk about um, next podcast, but there's a video going around on TikTok of a girl um, just saying about like, when did it turn into like your clients having to take like PTO in order to get in with their hairstylists? Um, so we can kind of like, maybe talk about that. Next yeah. Podcast. yeah I think that can go into what we were supposed to get into with the review thing today, mm-hmm. but we could finish up the other okay, things cool. probably. So, um, the Beyonce right. video, um, our take, I watched it last night as well. Um, for me, sh- so you two can kind of talk about it. Could you brought up the Beyonce? Uh, right. Beyonce. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we bought the products. You and I. Have you? Yeah. I yeah. haven't used. Mm-hmm. I like. I've not used them. So I. I don't. put the tiniest bit of oil in my hair yesterday, and I saw it at the end of the day. It's that is a very dense oil. So I think all of the products are are dense. Yeah. Yeah. And, and when, um, it's, it's cute that they say like for all hair types. This is not for all hair types. So, I, well, I think, so I have straight hair when it's wet, it can, it will have a wave to it. Um, You have curly hair. Um, I feel like the styling lotion though, do you know how, so I have friends that'll be like, oh, like Michelle will be like, oh, it's time to get my hair done. I need to make it dirty again. Like Ooh. bleach it, you know? Oh, like that. Because yeah. it's so, because it's so <laughs> fa- uh, like flat or just, yeah. you know, um, so I feel like the styling lotion almost made it heavy or a little dirty feel, not in a bad which you way. Which I love. Which yeah, I, was I gonna love. Yeah, I going to say, isn't that kind of like what That's my like? jam. But I, to be, I, I haven't used any of the styling stuff. I've so only used the like in shower stuff. I put a stuff. tiny bit and a little bit of the oil and I feel like it has a, um, almost like some sort of hold after I'm blow drying and then using the mm. iron. Okay. So it, it's like a, 
I don't know if there is, when I was reading about it, I don't think there is a hold to it, but that's kind of what it makes your hair do. Like I, a I don't cast. know the right okay. Well, that's like, use, that's a lot but... like the, the stuff I use, the, the dirt. I put some oil in it yesterday and then did my hair. And mm-hmm. at the end of the day, my hair was oily. Okay. And I was like, oh, okay. Like my, my hair does not need this. Like no. this is probably a fantastic tool. But yeah, my hair I use in this the oil state does on my ends it. and the styling lotion like from mid to ends. Okay. But um, yeah, it, it smells good. I like mm-hmm. the look of the product. I love the packaging. Yeah. Um, and then she has like hashtag sacred wash day. Mm-hmm. And um, it's like all girls kind of like your wash day, your routine. And they're like showing it. And I don't know. It's kind of it's cool, you know. Yeah, I thought it was cool, like the way that they did the hashtag and stuff, because I didn't realize that that's kind of what it was all about. And I, like just the yeah. the whole routine and like how important, you know, to some people that wash day is or taking care of your hair and just, you know. I, I was telling Matt when I told him about the video, I loved watching it because I I really enjoy watching things in hair that I don't do. And like that natural blowout I have not done in so long. And, you know, I get to watch Danielle do it. And it's just such, it's just such a beautiful, fascinating process to like that. It requires so much care and like, not precision, but like you have to be so detail oriented to get it right and to Mm -hmm. do it well. And that was one thing that I think was well shown in that video that made it cool to watch like yeah like from the products to what brush to sectioning right like just being this is it blown kind out of, before we iron it yeah like, it, very like cool one seeing. through ten yeah and it's like almost becomes just like you could just put a blindfold on and you're doing it because wash day is like wash day you yeah. know yeah <laughs> i wash my hair probably like twice three times a week now i used to wash it all the time yeah you did bob um, I just feel like it's better now for some reason. I don't know if as I'm getting older, I don't know, but I think it's healthier. I mean, personally, I, it makes sense that it would be a little healthier to not. I think it depends on yeah. your hair and what you're doing with yeah. it. Yeah. But you were sure. doing a lot of iron work on your hair mm-hmm. before. Mm-hmm. So, um, so yeah, uh, it's a cool video. If you, if you check out Beyonce, I mean, you've seen it probably. So her hair uh, looks beautiful at the end too, like the blowout and then the curl and then she does the half up. I know Christina goes, I need more blonde. I know. I, I just <laughs> haven't had time. I, I asked Carly like weeks ago and I just. It's hard to get in. I had, hey, I had three days this week <laughs> that I offered. I know, but I've just been do- busy. Been busy. I yeah. know. All right. Um. <laughs> I just want to shout out uh, to Mevo, um, the sponsor of the show. Uh, Mevo on tour is coming to a city close to you. Uh, New York City's coming up in June. Um, I'm going to be speaking there, doing a little social media thing for a half an hour. And then uh, the owner of the company, John Harms, is doing an hour uh, presentation as well. Just about growing business and being uh, surrounded by like-minded people. Um, it's like an all-day event. So go check out Mevo.com. Uh, slash Mevo dash on dash tour. Um, doing the ads in my head today. Just just saying them. Hey. Yeah. So let's tease for next week. Um, we're Ooh. gonna talk about customer reviews. I want to know out there a horrible review that you've gotten. Um, and did it affect? Do you feel like it affected your business? And how did you handle it when you got that bad review? Um. Hopefully you don't have a ton of them, but you know. I'll try to get one this week happens. so I can. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave one I'll for you. Through. I'll go oh, on no, there I'll, and do I'm it gonna, myself. I'll look through the I'm system. I'm going to earn it. <laughs> Be like, I hear this guy talking about his clients all the time. Like, he does not <laughs> yeah, treat I'm them gonna, very well. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. So we'll talk about that next time. Um. I'm going to spin the wheel too. How are you going to pick somebody? So let us know if you're a pro in the chat. Um. And you would like to spin our free wheel if you want a chance to win something really awesome. We have tons of stuff on there. Um, So let us know in the chat if you want to spin. But you got to be a pro because it's all pro tools on there. So let us know. Let's spin the wheel. (laughs) All right. So up on the wheel, we do have... MinervaBeauty.com. Ashley Hayes, she's a student and she wants to spin the wheel. Oh, that's awesome, Ashley. All right, cool. 
MinervaBeauty.com has a prize up there. We have Formulate.co, our friends at Formulate. You can get custom formulation for your hair and skin. So uh, that's up there. And uh, Mevo is up there. Tri Razor, brand new scissors from FSE uh, 701 comb, which is my favorite. And that looks like, and the Evo Razor Pro is up there as well. So tons of tools from FSE. If you There's guys, no I don't camera. have a camera. I know. I'm like <laughs> looking at all the angles. The people are probably like, what the? Just what the? Fuck? All right. Let me turn. All right. One sec. We're going to spin. Here. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, Ashley, here you go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And it's Minerva. Oh, sweet. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Yeah. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> wild. <laughs> nice spin, Bri. Yeah, hey, that thanks. was good. That one took forever. Hey, I'm uh, getting stronger. <laughs> <laughs> it's my weekly workout. All right. Um, awesome. So that's that. Congrats, Ashley. Uh, oh, you need to know what to do. Mm -hmm. Email Matt at freesaloneducation.com. Just put wheel winner in the chat um, and uh, or in the subject, not in the chat, in the subject of the email and then in the actual email, just put your name, phone number, address, and that should be good. So cool. that's it. Cool. Sweet. All right. You ready for trivia, guys? Carly is. Ready what a great way to me. end the show. <laughs> all right. Um, here, can you turn up the trivia music a little bit? Okay. Here, right, we, here go. we go. Yep. Okay. Doesn't it just make you want to answer questions? I mean, <laughs> Who yeah. picked this out? It's Put so some stank strange. on it. This question or this, this music? music? Yeah, I did. No, That's I mean why. I know you picked it, but like, how did you pick it? Did you put trivia music? Yeah, royalty free. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. All uh, right. Which hair color has the greatest number of strands of hair on average? Red. Yeah, I agree. Carly, what do you think? Red. <laughs> no, I won. I was like, Carly, what do you think? Like, go with yeah, a you... different answer. <laughs> well, I, I was thinking red, but I feel like we need buzzers. Like, I I feel like we need Oh, uh, yeah. We should get buzzers. We should get buzzers. Because I he said it first, so I was just going with like, oh, well. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, because <laughs> wouldn't you all just get a point then if you get it right, though, or no? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. You want to do we buzzers? I'll get the we buzzers. We establish this. This trivia question, it's they real. say... It's evolving as we go. <laughs> yeah, how do you do that if we all three guess the same thing? We you should write it get down. A point. Whoa. Okay, well, it says that blondes <laughs> typically have, on average, 120,000 to 140,000. Brunettes have 100,000 to 108,000. And redheads eighty Natural to ninety thousand. So blondes is the correct answer. Reds really? would have been the. That's the what, least. Hey, this is Google, so <laughs> <laughs> you know. God. That's fascinating, though. I wouldn't have thought that. And I'm thinking of like red. It's so crazy that you can kind of picture redheads that you've caught. Wait, mm. I would have said I wouldn't have said redheads. No. Well, no. well I think the reason I w I would have said I brunette, went with reds but... is because there's so many interesting things about redheads when it comes to hair like they're always the outline yeah but like you the know thickest what? cuticle it, the all that stuff it's always redheads i do feel like blondes probably have more hair but not as a thick strand you know yeah the, so maybe it does make sense where i have a lot is it blondes that don't have the middle the cortex or they don't have the the core all the time i don't know mm. hair structure beauty school I just mm. went with red because I, I thought you like because my hair is hair red off. right now. So I thought you were trying to like give me a point there. So I was like, <laughs> that's why I was going to go with red. That was your no. thought process. Yeah. I thought it was more like, <laughs> what Here's do you your think? Chance. Because they're wrong. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, so kind of like Matt last night. <laughs> Somebody gave him a drink and he's like, okay. And I was like, 
what? First Why off, did you say okay like that to the server? He didn't mean it, but they were like, oh, and here you go. Your yes. mango jalapeno Ooh, martini yum. or whatever. That's why I said okay like okay. that. Okay. Well, he put it down and he goes, okay. And like, I'm like, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Strap you... in. Yeah, it had like a skewer <laughs> with jalapenos on it. I was oh. like, okay. Like, this is going to be like, it's very mango-y and very spicy. It's going to be a night. Your okay didn't come out the way you wanted it to, but it no, was it funny. No, it didn't. <laughs> All right, so to recap Picture. before we wrap up, yeah, Carly's at zero. <laughs> <laughs> Christina, I'm not showing up next week. <laughs> I have like four. You haven't showed up yet. I'll just take you have three. <laughs> I'll Very take true. three, but you, you know, you guys know I have four. Three and a ghost. What point. do you have, Brian? I think one. We're at one. We're at one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next week, well. it's going down, and we'll figure out if we, we have right, buzzers Kesha. or we have. Uh, what can we do for just Carly slap next the week? Table. <laughs> I'm gonna get buzzers. Okay, buzzers. Buzzers, b- buzzers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Buzzers. <laughs> All right, this show's over. Okay. Buzzers and jalapeno mango. Listen, jalapenos. Before we go, make sure if you're looking for custom formulation on your hair or skin, go to formulate.co slash Matt Beck. You can get... Um, Yours came in the mail the other day. Did you get it? I know because I'm just on the... I get face wash. But I, I did. I did put a, a a stretch on the time frame because now I'm I'm backed up one. I got an extra, mm. so I put a little. You can adjust it in the app how often it comes, but it's so awesome. He's on a subscription for everything. Hot face, sauce, hot sauce, and face <laughs> face wash. I think it's cute. And every time it comes, it goes okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Uh, can that be what our buzzers say <laughs> yes okay um all right we're Name past of episode. our clients are here our clients are here um Hello, thank you guys Fridays. so much follow brian hair hairstyle and carly hair by carly c and us everything at free salon education um thank you guys so much oh, for tuning into the show i uh, can't wait for you guys to watch the whole thing and, and enjoy it and subscribe please see ya bye bye bye